Beattie and intern Sam Shepard and I'm here at the uh, Bangor City Forest where there have been multiple reports of great horned owl attacks and um, there isn't really anything new about this because in 2009 uh, warnings were posted here in the city forest about great horned owls after a few skiers in March um, were attacked by the owls. So I'm here at the West Trail and uh, let's go try to find an owl. So if you go over to the uh, big map at the beginning of the forest, you'll see a flyer that says uh, someone was attacked on the 26th of September and the 4th and 5th of October. So it hasn't just happened once, and like I said, it's happened a few times over the past five or six years. So in 2009, we interviewed Charlie Todd, who is a wildlife biologist at the Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. And he said that great horned owls are the biggest owl we have in Maine. The females usually weigh around four pounds and males usually weigh around a pound. Probably walked about half a mile now on the east-west trail, starting on the east end. Um, that's where all the attacks were reported in 2009. It seems like the owls have taken seven years to migrate to the west trail. What do you call an owl magician? Houdini. That's a good one. You can use that one. So I've been in the Bangor City Forest for about an hour now. Um, haven't seen any owls, haven't heard any owls. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. If you were attacked by an owl in the Bangor City Forest, please reach out to the Bangor Daily News. Um, I'm the intern, Sam Shepard, and uh, thank you for watching this very uneventful potential owl attack. I'm honestly very sorry I wasn't attacked, guys. I'm very, very sorry.